Alright folks, this is Zerik and Nintendo has responded to all this Power World controversy. Yeah, people been complaining. They're like, oh my god, oh my god, Power World's copying Nintendo. Oh god, they copied the Pokemonses. Oh no. Alright, well, I have something for you. I have something for you, okay? This is a age-old wisdom passed down through generations in my family uh, it goes a little something like this shit or get off the pot nintendo niantic whatever i don't care has had has had nearly 30 years 30 years to make pal world if they can't do it shit or get off the pot that's how it goes copyright law first off even if they were infringing upon nintendo's ip rights copyright law in its current form is unethical it is pure evil in its current form and people defend it as if it's actually an ethical thing just because something is a law doesn't mean it's ethical remember how slavery used to be legal well you want to know why multi-billion and now multi-trillion dollar corporations run run the world it's not because of capitalism it's because of copyright law how can someone ethically own an idea a concept for generations how is that a thing why is it allowed i hate copyright law if you can't tell it makes me a little angry you know why because it stifles innovation this stuff you you know why this was originally created by the way to help innovation because originally when it was created it only had a couple years that's right if you invented a thing if you made a thing if you had an idea a concept you were allowed ownership of that idea or concept for just a few years to make money off of it. And that was a way to encourage innovation because if you spend the time necessary to create a new thing, you get rewarded by being able to make money off of that new thing without someone just aping you right away. You did all the hard work of figuring out how to make it work, but it was only supposed to last a couple of years, just a few. Now it lasts so long. Pokemon, and ancient old IPs like it, like Spider-Man and all these other things, these things should be public domain now. They should have been for a long time. They should be no different than something like Frankenstein. If you wanna make a Frankenstein movie, a game, a Cthulhu game or movie, you go for it, you do it. The best of the best, competition, survival of the fittest, real capitalism. Not the corruption that we have now, where the government protects a company for what is functionally perpetuity. Can you imagine that? Owning an idea or a concept for what is functionally perpetuity? Get out of here. Companies can buy ideas. They could just, you know, how it works now is someone makes some cheap piece of shit for, and they have it going for like 20 years and then somebody in their gar their garage called Joe Bob invents something that's better and then the other you know what that company does they just buy it they buy it and put it in a vault they buy the idea the concept and then put it in a vault and they just keep producing the same shit that they're already producing because it's cheaper to make the shit that they're already producing and not release the new good thing People defending this blows my mind. That is evil. Copyright law in its current form is evil. So if this dude right here was just straight up Pikachu with a minigun, I would be like this. Good, good. Nintendo needs to shit or get off the pot. Do you know how easy this game was to make? Pokemon fans were asking for, like, for something like this for almost 30 years. They wouldn't give it to them. I'm done with that. I don't understand how people, why, how, how people can defend this. Idiots. The law says, I don't give a shit what the law says. I care about actual ethics. The difference between right and wrong. And right and wrong and the law have little to do with each other when it comes to this situation. Well, you know me. I've been playing Power Ward for a few days now, and I'm gonna be playing it later on today. Same cat time, same cat channel. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> yeah, there was this mod. There was this mod that was being made that 
put like actual Pokemon in the game. You know how much interest I had in that mod? Zero. You know why? Why would you want to catch Pikachu for the 100,000th time when you can catch something completely unique? Every single one of these pals, I've never cap I've never captured a single one of these pals in a Pokemon game. Imagine a Pokemon game with actual over a hundred unique Pokemon that are released with abilities and skills. Could you imagine that? Not just a new Pokemon that has three evolutions and there's like 40 of them or something, but no, over a hundred new Pokemon completely unique. I, I haven't seen Pidgeotto anywhere. Where's Pidgeotto? Where, where, where's Pikachu? Where's Eevee? Well, there's something that looks a lot like Eevee in this game. <laughs> and I don't care. I don't care because Nintendo needs to shit or get off the pot. That is the way it goes. Screw copyright law. Screw the people trying to defend Nintendo and copyright law. This is Zerik, and I'll see you today, later on today. I stream every day, same cat time, same cat channel. And we're gonna be playing Pow World in honor of someone finally doing what Nintendo couldn't seem to figure out for 30 years! This is Zerik, and I'm out.